Robert, it's good to see you again. The Taliban says they want a good relationship. Knowing what you know about the Taliban, is that realistic after the past two decades? Yeah, what they want versus what they'll get are two different things. But the um, Taliban were actually never opposed to America, even in their original formulation. The problem is they changed into a very radical group. Well, they claim they've changed again. But, but they also have reportedly already banked, uh, banned music and executed a folk singer. W where do you stand on this decision to hand the Taliban the keys to the country? OK, remember, the Taliban are actually two parts. You, you have the intelligentsia, the, the few people that you see with the iPhones and glasses and talking to the camera. And then you have the vast majority of uneducated, uh, call them refugees or farm kids, zero education. So when you say the Taliban, with events, they're made out of various groups. They're going to do whatever they want. It's going to be very difficult for the Taliban to actually get their own organization. How, how, how do you see, Robert, the, the next months playing out? Uh, there's going to be a jostling for control because each region, each source of income, whether it be opium or mining or you know, taxing at borders, is going to be fought over by these different groups. And then you're going to see the emergence of these other two dozen splinter groups that we call terrorist groups, they start to you know, sort of deframe the Taliban from the leadership position. And what about your level of concern that al-Qaeda or others, ISIS-K, might get the ability to and take action against the United States? They're not going to attack the U.S. They're going to attack the Taliban because they're going to try to degrade their claim on legitimacy. You have to remember, we spent 10 years talking to what I call the beach towels in Qatar. These are people that haven't been to Afghanistan in over a decade, sometimes 20 years. Secondly, ISIS and these other groups are going to take advantage of the weakness of the control of the Taliban in the country uh, to grab control. So we're going to see a very messy, violent next six months. And can the United States keep out of it? <laughs> We, we want to interfere, but really we're tired of Afghanistan. You know, Afghanistan was a failure in the 70s and the 80s and the 90s and so on and so forth. There's not a lot to win there. And also Russia and China are also sort of sitting back and waiting to see. Uh, the most aggressive group has been the Turks. Yeah. They've offered to control the airport and help the Taliban's uh, structure. Well, there, there's another bunch. Robert Young-Pelton, it's good to see you again. Many thanks.